Hey Valley Metal, welcome back to another math lesson. Today we're going to look into expressing mixed numbers as decimals. Very similar to last night's lesson. Should be a slam bam. Thank you, ma'am. Lesson. Here we go. Let's start off with something fun. Tonight's trivia question sent in from my daughter Tara. Kind of quirky, but how many gallons can an American white pelican hold in its beak? We will find out shortly. Let's do the target. Officially tonight is 4.5b. I can express mixed numbers as decimals. Let's do this thing. All right, here we go. A little shout out to Brett. Brett ate one and a quarter dozen Oreo cookies and two and a half cups of milk for his after school snack. How would you express these numbers, these mixed numbers as decimals? Hmm. Well, pretty straightforward on these ones here. One and a quarter dozen Oreos. Well, that's one dozen and a quarter is the same as 0.25. So he ate 1.25 dozen Oreos. I can handle that. Uh, two and a half cups of milk would, of course, be 2.5 cups of milk. See how simple this is going to be? Using a lot of landmarks. Last time we figured out how we go about changing uh, fractions into decimals. So the whole numbers just slide over. All right. Word of the day. Uh, definitely must know these. Uh, fraction. Quantity does not completely whole, like one-half, one-third, and one-fourth. Decimals we talked about before. Percents we talked about before. Let's take a look at those. Mixed number. A number that contains an integer, a whole number, and a fraction, like three and a half, or four and one-fifth. Here's a couple over here. Three and one-fourth. Five and six-eighths. Seven and fifty-one hundredths. These ones here are a little bit less familiar, but if we reduce 6 eighths down to 3 fourths, 5 and 3 fourths, that becomes a much more familiar fraction in terms of changing that to a decimal, which would be 5.75. Just like Brett ate 1 and a quarter dozen Oreos, 3 and a quarter would be 3.25, because these are known landmarks, you know, a quarter and a half. And this one here is just a half down here, so this would be 7.5. So expressing decimals uh, as numbers, or a mixed number as a decimal, is really as easy as one, two, three. And here's how we go about doing it. First of all, here's our example, two and two-thirds. Just record the whole number. Boom, slam, two. Next, put a decimal point in. There's your decimal point. Uh, and then change the fraction to a decimal. Well, two-thirds equals 0.66. So our answer is 2.66. It's that easy. You just, it's just like last night. All we're doing is adding a whole number in front of it. Very simple. Let's run through another one. Here's a little more complicated. This is 4 and 5 eighths. So record the whole number. There it's 4. Put a decimal point in. Now we've got 4 point something, which is telling us we're going to have 4 and some sort of a fraction or an incomplete one. And then you change the fraction to a decimal. So I had to go up here and I had to divide 5 by 8. And you can see I work my way through to get 0.625. So 4 and 5 eighths is the same as 0.625 is my decimal, so that's 4 and 0.625. So 4.625. Okay? I thought so. Yeah, but, yeah, there's always a yeah, but. Yeah, but what if you have a fraction like 2 and 10 sixteenths? You could take and go 10 divided by 16, you could. Or you can reduce it to the 5 eighths. Um, I like reducing. I think oftentimes when we get down to one of those landmark fractions like 5 eighths, we'll remember that 4 eighths is 0. 0.5 and an eighth is 0. 0.125. So 5 eighths, you just add 0. 0.125 to the 0. 0.5. So um, as you become more familiar with those, I think you're going to like that. So I go through the same example here. You just record the whole number, you add the decimal, and then, of course, the math is the same because 10 sixteenths is equivalent to 5 eighths. Just divided by 2 up here. Any questions? Okay. Um, here are three examples to try on your own. Let's see how you did. Well, there's 2 and an eighth. And I chose that one specifically because I think it's really important that you learn what an eighth is. Uh, two and an eighth comes out to be 2.125. That's an easy one. Remember that one. Um, these two here, I think you had to reduce. 12 sixteenths reduced down to 3 fourths. 27 thirtieths reduced down to 9 tenths. And then from there, 
was very easy. 3 fourths is 0.75, so it's 14.75. Uh, 9 tenths gets reduced down to just 5.9. I love it when we get a tenth or a hundredth down here in the bottom because then we can just really get rid of it and put in the decimal. Add the number of zeros you need. All right, let's get to our ticket to the show tonight. Uh, please express these mixed numbers as decimals. 3 and 16 30 seconds, 5 and 75 one hundredths. Bring those in and we'll be ready to rock and roll tomorrow. All right. Let's find out the answer to the trivia question. How many gallons can an American white pelican hold in its beak? Survey says three gallons. That's unbelievable. That's 32 cans of pop. I wonder how the pelican gets the pop cans open, though. Probably has a can opener. All right, just messing with you. Have a good evening. Thanks for watching.